Hi everyone, this is Simeon Davenport or Norbert and welcome to my 7th commentary video. This is a commentary video on my Why There's So Many Scumbags in the Entertainment Industry video. This is my second time recording this because uh, the first time I was recording I didn't realize that my microphone was turned off so I was talking for about 5 minutes until I realized that my microphone wasn't even on so um, hopefully you can hear me now, hopefully I don't have to record a third time. <clears throat> Alright, so um... The reason why I'm doing a commentary video on uh, this particular video uh, is because I feel like it's especially relevant now. Uh, as I'm sure most of you um, already know, um, about, uh, last month there was a, a docu-series called Quiet on Set that came out, which was talking about uh, uh, the, uh, well, it's kind of relevant, this part of the video is showing right now, uh, uh, about um, about some of the uh, uh, allegations and uh, some of the bad stories that have happened regarding the uh, behind the scenes of Nickelodeon's live action shows, especially those uh, produced by Dan Schneider. The, ru the rumors about Dan Schneider have been ongoing for uh, quite a while, but uh, especially nowadays with, with, with Quiet On Set being released, um, it's especially grown in, uh, uh, in, in people talking about it. Um, by the way, I actually had a feeling that that part of the video where I said, that just went by, where I said, by the way, no, I'm not counting Dan Schneider because as of the making of this video, no concrete evidence or direct allegations have come out. I, I kind of had a feeling that part would age poorly. And I guess it kind of has um, Quiet On Set. Uh, by the way, I should mention uh, I should mention that I'm not seeing Quiet On Set. Um, uh, I'm not really that into like like expose documentaries, uh, you know, stuff like Surviving R. Kelly or Leaving Neverland. Uh, I'm not really into like that kind of stuff. So yeah, I, I've not seen Quiet On Set, and I don't think I plan to. And I don't think I plan to. <clears throat> But anyway, um, as you can imagine, uh, with uh, Quiet On Set coming out, um, it, it has um, sparked a lot of backlash against Nickelodeon and, uh, you know, people saying that, uh, you know, that I'm um, uh, getting angry at Nickelodeon for allowing, like, uh, like this stuff to happen and, like, and, like, by the way, if you go to their Instagram, like, comment, like, the post, the comments of their Instagram, recent Instagram posts, oh my gosh, it's not, almost nothing but, like, uh, people, like, saying they're boycotting them, canceling them, just spreading the hashtag quiet on set, like, it's bad. Don't go to don't, don't go to those comments. They actually didn't even make a 45th anniversary post. You know, they, they turned 45 years on April 1st. And they didn't even make a post about it, probably because, you know, Quiet Set's still fresh in everyone's minds, and it still is as of me making this. So, <clears throat> but anyway, um, uh, but anyway, um, one thing that one one thing that's really big pet peeve of mine, and even before Quiet Set came out, and is what led to me making this video in the first place, is uh, uh when I hear people say things like um. You know, why there's so many scumbags in the entertainment industry, you know, the title of the video there. By the way, I actually, uh, the title of the video is intentionally misleading. Um, I actually titled that way specifically just so I could get, like, uh, people to click on it, I guess, you know. I felt like it would be more views than if I called it why there are not as many scumbags in the entertainment industry as it seems. And, but it really bothers me when I hear people, like, say things like, uh, like, it's not surprising when, like, another animation appears out anymore. Which, by the, like, for example, this clip right here that you're watching right here, this clip you're seeing right here, uh, this is actually a clip from Mr. Enter's uh, Topic of the Week on Butch Hartman, where he actually, like, says that himself, like, uh, like, it's not surprising when another, like, animation career is out anymore. It's like, huh, them too. It, like, it's not shocking anymore. It's just something like that. Um, I actually wanted to, uh, to get a second clip of, of, uh, of someone saying something similar to that, but I, I couldn't really think of another clip. I actually asked on my Discord server if anyone had, like, another clip of someone saying that, but, uh, I, I uh, uh, someone gave me a link to like a, a tier list. Someone made a, a tier list video. Someone made about bad celebrities, but it it didn't really have what I was looking for. So I only included like the one clip there. But anyway, uh, um, oh by the way, this, is, this video is, is slowed down to about zero point seven five speed. Uh, usually I speed videos up like for my commentaries, uh, but I'm actually slowing it down because I actually have I think I think I have more to say than than than, than twelve minutes worth. You know, the video is twelve minutes long, and I felt like I had more to say than um. Uh, so it's. Uh, I'm more than 12 minutes. Oh, by the way, uh, that that text there is called Hollywood Hills. Uh, I actually chose that text because you know it looks like the Hollywood sign font. Um, although it's kind of hard to see, you know, it's a uh, you know it's light yellow. It's got a white out, uh, it's got a white glow. You know, that was to make it look more like a more like like a flashy like uh, a little more flashy like kind of glowing entertainment sign. And you know, also Hollywood Hills kind of fits with a uh, you know the fact I'm talking about Hollywood in this video. Um, but yeah, but I did get a comment saying it was kind of hard to see. Um, I'll talk about that comment later, but, but anyway, um, yeah, I've, I've always kind of got, like, mildly annoyed. It's, it's, it's a pet peeve when I hear people say things like, uh, nearly everyone in the entertainment industry is turning out to be a scumbag, or why are there so many off, why are there so many, like, like pedophiles on Nickelodeon, or, or whatever, people say stuff like that, like, um, 
a lot of people like 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 kind of forget that like like only a small percentage of people have even been outed. Like uh, 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 uh like with Nickelodeon specifically, like tons of people have been like, saying like uh like Nickelodeon hired sickos. Like uh, there have only been like ten. There have only been like like ten confirmed like uh like like predators or whatever at Nickelodeon. People are, are still assuming that like it's it's happening like way more often than it does. Like like uh like like again like. If there have only been like ten confirmed like like scumbags in Nickelodeon. Yeah, people are saying like, uh, why are there so many scumbags in Nickelodeon? Like, like there there aren't like, and I, I explain why you know people are getting tricked like in the, like that in this video. Like I, I go over why, but it still annoys me. I wish people would like kind of learn to stop getting tricked in that, like like into thinking that mindset. Like it's not just Nickelodeon. Like I, I'm gonna talk about it just a little bit, but uh, but the Catholic Church as well. Like people who say like uh, like the Catholic Church is filled with child molesting priests. Actually, most Catholic priests uh, are good people and don't condone that. So, you know, it's it's, it's not fair to like uh, assume that all you know Catholic priests are, are child molesters because they're not. And and heck, even with other things as well. Like I I mentioned in my Discord server uh, like an hour ago. Um, I call it the Nickelodeon effect. Uh, you know, so people like like see a few similar stories and, and and they jump to the false conclusion that like it happens like way more frequently than it does within within the particular entity or uh, the particular entity or. Uh, uh, or medium it happens in. Uh, I remember back in like 2014, like 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 10 years ago, people. I remember a lot of people were saying stuff like, uh, "Why is every pop song that comes out nowadays about big butts?" Like, there were only like three songs about big butts in 2014. Like, uh, there was "Wiggle" by Jason Derulo, there was "Anaconda" by Nicki Minaj, and there was "Booty" by Jennifer Lopez featuring Iggy Azalea. Like, that's three songs, three. But because those three songs were all about big butts and all came out the same year in 2014. People suddenly got tricked into thinking that like every song that came out in 2014 was, was about big was about big butts. Like people just, just overestimate how often this really happens. And the same is true with people like uh the, the scumbags in, in, in Nickelodeon or, or the entertainment industry in general. Uh, by the way, I played uh, uh, this is uh this is from Pi this is from that media guys Pi Gear Rules Goodbye but Why video. Um, I, I played two clips uh, from uh. Someone else to kind of uh, iterate a point I was making, you know, here about, uh, you know, the Catholic priest thing and later with the boy in the band clip about, uh, you know, um, technical parents say that like people online are more likely to lie. Uh, uh, I actually, one of the things that actually inspired this video was actually, um, uh, in Pi, if you actually go to uh, his Pi Gear Rules Goodbye But Why video, in my comment, it's a very long comment, actually, I just put, I just put in several replies, but uh, I actually kind of mention, summarize a little bit of what I say in this video here. And some of what I said in that comment actually became the script for this video. And I actually did uh, reach out to that media guy before I made this video. I actually told him I wanted to use a clip here, and, and he said that was okay. And he actually commented on this video. Uh, by the way, that was, he, was, he was also the comment to mention that the font was kind of hard to read. Uh, yeah, and he said, uh, he, said it was well, he said it was well done, you know, uh, um, and he really liked it. Um, and that, you know, it's so easy to forget what was mentioned here. And he actually uh, promoted it on, on his own channel. He actually uh, made a community post about it, and I actually also... Uh, Quoted his community post, so uh, thank you, that media guy. Yeah, I mean, he makes a really good point about like people like overestimating how many uh, like child molesting priests the Catholic Church really has. And like, like, here's the thing, like like again, like if, if there's like a small number of like something that happens, like people like with within a particular uh, like similar stories have enough far apart from each other, like regarding a particular like entity or thing. People will just, like, assume it happens way more often than it really does, like... Let's say there's a studio, like, uh, like a, a studio that, uh... And let's say that, that, that within one year, three people from that studio all get fired from the studio for sexual harassment. That's three people, and that studio probably had hired hundreds or even thousands of people. Three people got outed, and yet, because three... Because there's that's three stories, similar stories, and it happened the same year, people will jump to the conclusion then that actually all, everyone who works in that studio um, is a sexual harasser. Even though, like, less than 1% of everyone's studio got outed, because because of the similar stories and, and like, the fact that it happened not far apart from each other, people just jump to the conclusion that it happens, like, way, way more often than it actually does. Like, and, and again, I talked about this a little later in the video, I, I know there are some people who do genuinely believe that, like, people on, like in the entertainment industry or whatever are more likely to be scumbags than anyone else. But but any evidence they have for that is, is just anecdotal at best. Like, I, I don't find it very convincing. 
like I, I'm not saying that fame like can't change someone like um but uh, but I don't know like it's, it's, it, I, it's just, I don't just I don't just I don't really have enough there's really not enough like clear evidence that this really happens like um like I, I really doubt that like like that like the studio that studio like like harbored sexual harassers like I don't know maybe it did I I don't know enough about it like I don't know enough about like the inside workings of how the entertainment industry works to say that but but like in all likelihood the fact that three sexual harassers work in the same studio like it, it's just an it's probably just an unfortunate coincidence like I, I really doubt that the studio sp was specifically hiring sexual harassers like it's just an unfortunate coincidence in all likelihood. And this is the other uh, uh, <clears throat> clip I played from Boy in a Band. Uh, by the way, I actually learned after I made this video that Boy in a Band actually has some actually had some allegations against him. Uh, I'm not going to go into what those allegations are. Uh, you can like look them up if you want to know more about them. But it kind of makes it a little awkward retrospect that I'm playing a clip from him here. But um, it still doesn't make you know what he's saying any less valid about the whole you know parents like technical parents claiming that like most people online are like like hackers and scammers because like some of the, a small minor minority of them are and. Again, same thing here, you know, people just assuming that something happens way more often than it actually does. Um, uh, by the way, um, I, I, I was wondering if I would maybe get some, like, uh, some people arguing with, with me in the comments. I was wondering if I would actually get some uh, people, like, disagree with me or, like, explaining why they genuinely believe, like, the entertainment industry is filled with uh, predators or whatever. Again, I, I don't buy into that. And I, By the way, a little tangent here, that, that whole, this whole idea of, like, uh, this that people in the entertainment industry are more likely to be, like, to, like, be, be predators or pedophiles or whatever. This actually leads to conspiracy, conspiracy like, pedalwood or whatever, so uh, I try to stay away from that, so. Again, it, it's just conspiratorial thinking, like, you know, I, I say, I mentioned later, it's, uh, it sounds like, the, it sounds like something, something that a person wearing a tinfoil hat would say. Uh, actually, the picture of Weird Al Yankovic from the, the, from the full music video wearing a tinfoil hat. Yeah, there it is. That's Weird Al Yankovic wearing a tinfoil hat. Um, <clears throat> uh, uh, I think the, the biggest disagreement I got in the comments was from Twisted Dance. And by the way, uh, another thing that actually inspired this video, I think this was a couple years back, maybe a few, I don't remember how long it was exactly, but uh, I remember uh, uh, Twisted Dance and I were actually kind of uh, talking about this a little bit in this Discord server. Uh, you know, someone actually posted a tweet that I made uh, where it said something like, just reminded that most people in the entertainment sphere are good people, or at the very least not scumbags, and it's not, and claiming, why is everyone trying to be a scumbag because of less than 1% of getting out is not remotely accurate. And then he said, didn't necessarily agree with that take. And he said that, like, between, like, a, a regular person and, um, and, you know, a celebrity, he's much more likely to expect a celebrity to commit sexual assault because they're more likely to get away with it. And, you know, I talk about that a little bit in these clips here, you know, uh, how, sure, you know, sometimes, you know, uh, Hollywood, you know, fame and fortune can change a person and maybe embolden them to commit sexual harassment. But again, lots of things can make someone commit sexual harassment, and yeah, power and influence in Hollywood can make someone stay silent, like, like Harvey Weinstein, but but again, lots of things can make someone stay silent, like, I also uh, got a couple responses on, on, on Twitter, where I was uh, talking to some people on Twitter, where I was posting my video, and uh, this was before Quiet on Step, I think it was like a year ago, uh, uh, but they said that they, uh, they, they find it profoundly naive to think that, like, uh, you know, being, uh, that being rich and famous would not make them more likely to abuse that power. And again, I, I guess I do get where they're coming from, but again, I just feel like, I, I, I just feel like they, I just feel like it's anecdotal evidence, and I, I just don't find it like too convincing. <laughs> um. So yeah, that's basically kind of why I, I believe people like online are not uh, people in the entertainment industry are not necessarily more likely to be scumbags than anyone else, and. And I mentioned this in this clip I'm saying it here, but yeah, it's probably about the, the percentage of people in Hollywood who, or Nickelodeon in general who are, you know, predators or whatever, it's probably about the same as people outside, you know, people who, who are not famous. <clears throat> so it's just, just not really fair to, like, to, to make that like whole assumption for everyone in a particular group, you know, it's not fair to assume that like all Catholic priests are child molesters, it's not fair to assume that everyone online is a liar or hacker or a scammer, it's not fair to assume that all pop songs in 2014 were, uh, were about big butts. Uh, I, in my Discord server where I talked about this uh, an hour ago, I, I call this, uh, I, I coined it, this term called the Nickelodeon effect, did I say that already? Um, I don't remember if I did, but um, yeah, the Nickelodeon effect, where people, um, you know, uh, just see a few similar stories happen not far apart from each other and overestimate how often, like, uh, something really happens. 
you know, uh, bad stories and just overestimate like that it happens because like our brains, our brains are really good to think patterns and I think I've kind of explained myself uh, enough on that front. Um, but again, you know, with the Abbott and Quiet said, I really do feel like I need to kind of speak a little more on this. Um, I, 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 don't know, I can't go out of my way to like, con like, to, like, con like, con like, 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 like this video to every single person. Like, that'd be way too impractical, but, you know, I, I do hope that I can, you know, you know, help, help some people realize that, um, you know, it's, it, it, the situation is not as bad as it seems. Like, like, I'm not saying that, like, that these stories aren't bad, like, uh, celebrities, like, or entertainment figures, like, doing these things aren't bad, or, the Nic or Nickelodeon's not partially to blame for, like, keeping people around, but, like, people, most, most people in the entertainment industry are, 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 are not bad people. I'm not saying they're all saints, but, uh, they're probably not sexual harassers. Like, that's what we need to understand. I just have to be a little more positive and optimistic about things. But that's my thoughts. What do you think? Uh, thanks for watching, everyone. Uh, I'll see you next time.